Hey kids, welcome to lesson six, user input and strings, part five, generating text output. So far, we've been outputting our messages to the console, but now we'd like to display them in the app. In order to do so, we're going to be now using a new UI element called text area. You can use set text with a text area, just like you would a text label. Hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. Looks like we have a little picture of what we have here. If you want to combine user input with default text, we can do so with a string concatenation. Together with a text area, we can use the ability to compose longer messages based on user input. We have a do this, add a text area to your app and give it a descriptive and meaningful ID, create a variable inside your event handler called user message to hold a full message that will be sent to the user. Use the string concatenation to compose a message from user input and use set text to place your user message inside the text area you created. Looks like we have a little example here. So it says Jessica 15. And then we have a little area here that displays the text. Well, that's very interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. I know one of the first things I have to do is to add a text area. Let's go to our design. Our text area is this box right here. Let's drag it in. That looks pretty centered to me. I'm gonna call this text area one. And I'm gonna put a placeholder text in there. And it's just going to say, this is where your text will show up. I can go down here, make sure that is centered. And that'll just give a little placeholder until our user inputs something. Let's go back to our code. So the next thing is I have to create a variable inside my event handler called user message. First thing I'm going to do is just add a little, I'm going to start commenting it out. So this is going to be my text box. I just don't want to get confused moving forward. In here, I need to create a variable. And my variable is going to be called user message. And this user message is going to have some sort of text in towards it. And really, let's make it look like our example. So I think Jessica and 15 are my two variable strings that I need to put in. So the rest here is the text. So the first thing I need it to do is to say, hello. I'm gonna put a space in because the name should be next. How do we link our strings in? Remember, that's the plus sign. This input is text name. So let's put text name in right there. That means whatever is inputted into this text name here should pop out in this box here now. We're gonna do another plus, and it's going to say parentheses, because we want this printed exactly. Welcome to my app. And then I never would have guessed you were, and then a space and quotation, so print off like that. I want the age string in there, that's gonna be plus, and then that is text age from before. Another plus, because we're gonna string it together, and my quotation mark. semicolon. So this right here is my variable user message. Inputted into these two boxes will be replaced in the string that should print to this screen. But we still have one more thing to do here. We have to use set text to place user message inside the text area. So that is simply set text. I'm going to come down here and the ID for set text here is going to be my text area one, text area 
one. And what I wanted to display is my user message. But I don't want to print it exactly like that. So I'm going to take these quotation marks off. Anytime user message is clicked, this should display in text area one. I have an unnecessary semicolon, it says. Oops, I have two of them over there. Got to be careful with these long ones. Take away my spaces here, clean up the code. Now when I hit run and input, it should come up in the string. Let's see if I'm right. Let's hit run. My name is Rhodes. My age, 26. Submit. Hello, Rhodes. Welcome to my app. I never would have guessed you were 26. Ah, oh, it's so nice of you. Thank you. Either would I. We still have it displaying in my console.log down here with the uh, user is inputting Rhodes in 26. That's from there, right there. That is pretty neat, kids. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. We added these four things. Let's hit finish and see if they want anything else. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.